I'm currently in the process of getting this board manufactured properly with surface mount components. As you can see, this current prototype has loads of wires flapping in the breeze, so it's not going to last very long. But part of that process is to check that the future boards which I might be using, such as the Nano BLE, are going to work with the pin layout and servo and so on. And what I discovered was an issue with servo jitter. Now I'm making this video because I've faced this before and that's the reason why this Nano here is currently running a PWM servo library. And so what I've discovered is that if you get servo jitter, which I shall show you in a minute with the BLE, sometimes it can be caused by code, not other electrical issues. Here's the Nano BLE running my auto shift code thanks to the Arduino IDE and all the libraries that are available. It doesn't look like for the servo that it uses a PWM signal. It looks like it uses interrupts and as you can see those interrupts are perhaps not of the highest priority. In um, Sega Embedded Studio you can set the priority of the interrupt but clearly the timings of the PWM signal are being a little bit messed up because the servo isn't quite sure exactly where it needs to be at certain points. Sometimes you can see it just starts jittering for no apparent reason. It's supposed to be holding position at the moment and it's not. Um, so if you want to get reliable consistent servo movements Make sure you're using a PWM signal and you're not using interrupts that uh, are reliant on the CPU and whatever else it might be doing at the same time. In this case it's probably doing all sorts of other stuff like printing to serial and um, I've also got a um, timer interrupt running as well to monitor all the buttons and read switches and that may have a fairly high interrupt priority which is interfering with the servo. And here's the Nano BLE running nothing else but the servo sweep code. And as you can see, it's just going to increment up to one end of the servo's travel and back to the other perfectly smoothly without any issues at all. And so that proves it's entirely a code issue. I thought that would be uh, useful for some people if they're facing this problem to know what the uh, potential, one of the potential causes is. And uh, thank you for watching.